Hello everyone, this is Red X Rain here with a brand new Let's Play April's Weekend Matinee Selection, Jurassic Park for the NES. I chose the game to, uh, I guess, commemorate the re-release of the film uh, just yesterday, now in 3D. I'm not going to see it, I hate 3D films. Get this curiously upbeat score after that ominous introduction. And we got some, you know, some settings you can change there if you want. But I'm just going to start the game. So every level starts off the same way here with a sort of uh, objective screen telling you what to do. So the fence power has been cut off. Dinosaurs have taken control. And Tim needs to be rescued from a stampede of giant triceratops. And it says we can use motion detectors for useful information. That's not true. They are extremely not useful. So, uh, basic controls. I've got the D-pad to move around. Uh, I've got A to jump, and I've got B to shoot. Pretty basic platforming. Well, this isn't exactly a, a platform game. I guess it's a shooting game. Never mind. And uh, your basic objective in most levels is to collect these little... Uh, I'm going to collect that key card there. Uh, your basic objective is to collect the uh, dinosaur eggs that are sort of strewn about each level, and as you collect, uh, after you collect all of the one, uh, eggs in each level, you usually get some sort of access card that allows you to go into a building or utilize a control panel or something like that. Got a little ammunition here, which is perfect. Uh, the blue ammunition is twice as strong as the olive green ammunition, which is what allowed me to take that raptor out in one shot. Or is it four times as strong? Because I think raptors take four shots. It's strong ammunition. How about that, right? I uh, got some ammunition here. And we have another dinosaur here. The Let's take care of this little guy. I'm trying to lure out this uh, spitter. Diphtheosaurus, I think is the name of it. Probably should have studied up on my Jurassic Park uh history and also dinosaur uh, dinosaur names but I'll just go by what I can remember these little guys I don't know what they're supposed to be they're too small to be raptors um they're pretty darn cute I kind of feel bad shooting them they're like the cutest dinosaurs in this game they kind of look like uh at least to me they they kind of look like little charmanders minus the uh the flame at the end of their tail of course Let's try to take this guy out. Or girl, I guess, right? Because uh, all the dinosaurs are female in Jurassic Park, if I remember correctly. I don't quite remember why. Something to do with how they were made, chromosomes, because of science. Be because of science, they were all female. That Now I remember. So these little question mark boxes will appear... Um, throughout the levels. They sometimes contain a health bonus, sometimes they actually damage you. Uh, there's also um, shields. You can be, you know, uh, invincible for uh, a short time. Uh, so, what else? What else? What else? Oh, so in the top left you'll notice there's a Mega Man style health bar. Uh, below that's a 2. That's my lives. Below that is my ammunition count, and below that is how many eggs I have to collect in this level. So as you can see, I just picked that one up. So it took out one, and now this is our final one. So we get our little access card here. And conveniently enough, it opens up this building. And here we have uh, same basic uh, strategy going on. We just got to collect the dinosaur eggs, and when we do, we're going to get a another access card, so I'm going to get this one first. I probably should have actually gone to the other one first. There's one here, and there's a raptor on that side. Can't get us from here. Uh, this health box, that little, or not a health box, that item box, it uh, contains a, a explosive, so it would damage me, so I'm not going to pick it up. Now, the raptors in this game have a terrible flaw. They cannot fit through the doorways. Clever girl. Which is, so you could just stand on one side and just wait for them to get in front and shoot them. Uh, I think that's, uh, you can use this control panel if you want with that key card, but it's not going to do anything. It'll just say you don't have access, uh, or don't have permission to access the gate or something like that. 
Uh, but yeah, no, just the fact that the uh, uh, part of what made the raptors really scary in the movie and a real threat was that they could open doors, that they were very, very intelligent. They were like the most intelligent dinosaurs in the park. And here they can't actually even fit through open doorways. How very, uh, very ironically apt. Now this one is not burdened by doors, so I just want to get as far away as I can and shoot. And I think there's a raptor in the room just below here. Uh, well, I got the invincibility, and because I have the invincibility, yeah, there's no raptor here. Because I had the invincibility, even though I touched that explosive box, it didn't hurt me. But I still also picked up the, uh, the health, bonus health that was there, so it all works out. Back to full health. And as you can see, I'm just uh, walking through, picking up all the eggs I can. You can shoot the eggs if you want. You can. I think they take two shots, maybe one. Uh, I never do it because it's a waste of ammunition. And here we can just wait for this raptor. Uh, it is a waste of ammunition, and ammunition is actually a little tight in this game. It's not a. Uh, it's not a free for all shoot 'em up. There's actually, you know, some strategy to how you uh, allocate your ammunition. You don't want to just, you know, you don't want to waste the, you know, really good bullets on these little guys when you can save those for raptors and, and other more difficult dinosaurs down the road. Because these little guys take two shots, and the ammunition they drop is worth two bullets. So, I mean, it's a, it's a wash as long as you don't miss or overshoot, you know, shoot too many times. It's, uh... So there we go, we had a, uh, another access card there. Uh, I think this is a health power-up, it doesn't really, yeah, it was, it doesn't really matter, I have full health. And just gonna shoot that guy. And this, this time it's actually worth accessing the uh, Jurassic mainframe. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the gate, or, uh, or open the gate. And so, basically this level is done, and now we just sort of need to make a, a dash for the exit. There's tons of these little guys here, so I... And uh, even though, I mean, they're not very tough, uh, if they surround you like that, you get four or five, you know, four or five of them surrounding you, they will... they'll mess you up. Um, and so I'm just not even going to bother here. I'm just going to head straight for the gate, which is where we started this level. And now we move on to the second phase of this level. There's Tim with his hunchback. It's a very... That's a very unflattering sprite that they've got for him there. Uh, this is sort of a, I don't know, sort of a mini-game style where I'm just trying to avoid touching the Triceratops or having the Triceratops touch uh, Tim. If they run, you know, if they crush either of you, uh, you, you know, you lose health. And that's not good. Uh, oh, yeah, well, see, there's a... It's a nice little demonstration of it. So, uh, as you can tell, I mean, this is a, it's a pretty basic uh, NES. Oh, that was weird. I didn't even see that, how that happened. Oh, geez. Oh, man. This is not going as well as my, my dry run of the game did uh, just beforehand. I made it through this, I think, only getting hit once. So I might actually die on this screen. I hope not. Because there is the hardest part coming right up here. I can never do it. Oh, uh, Tim, why'd you go up? Oh, well, apparently it was uh, just close enough that I, I have zero health, but I didn't lose a life. So, bare minimum health. In any regard, we saved Tim from being crushed. And his sister is hiding in the T-Rex enclosure. Which is totally where I would go, you know. I mean, that's just the safest place to be. Oh, well. Now there's some you know, little dinosaurs who come out of the trees here. And there's a health pickup. Uh, I'm going to forget about that ammunition, because there's two spitting dinosaurs that come out of the uh, tree there, and it's just not worth it. Oh, they come out of the bottom. I thought they only came out of the top. Well, all right. I should probably just... Should probably just keep going. I don't really need to kill it. Ah, kill it anyway. And here we have the green ammunition, which is even better. Is it better than the blue? I think it is. 
better than the green, that's for sure. So we have two more eggs to collect here. It's a very small, very straightforward outdoor area. And an even more straightforward uh, building. It's only one building. And we're going into the raptor enclosure. So I want to have my ammunition ready here because gonna, one's going to come right for us. There we go. And uh, this, is a, this is a pretty annoying... Uh, come on. Come on. I know you can't. I know you're there. There we go. Uh, this can be a really tough area because, uh, you know, if you get cornered by two or three raptors, they can kill you pretty fast. Uh, oh, we just gained an extra life there. Every time you get a thousand points, you gain a life. Oh, and there was a raptor there. That was weird. Yeah. Must have respawned when I when I went uh, too far down. Come on. Okay, I don't know how it did that. <laughs> I know there was a raptor there, and then it just disappeared, and it... Uh, whatever. Faulty programming. We'll just we'll just blame it on that. Uh, but yeah, these these guys will uh, these guys will mess you up even worse than those little charm. I'm just gonna call them the little Charmanders. Oh, and I lost a life. I think that's a shield. I, I don't know that I want to risk it and get a, a health loss out of it, so. And really, that's the hardest part of the raptor enclosure, because now there's plenty of doorways that we can use, and we'll just lure these uh, lure these ladies over here. Come on. Yeah. That's what you get for checking on your friend. There's the gate up there, but there's two more uh, two more eggs to get down here. And again, there's a raptor that comes out, so I'm going to stay on this side. Bada bing. Bada boom. Access card. can't believe I said bada bing, bada boom. Come on. I'm Italian, but I've never actually said that, I don't think. And I'm not going to make a mad dash here, because the raptors are very fast. They will catch up to you, not like the little little Charmanders. And here we have a example of another different type of level design. I think I got... Oh, jeez. Uh, I cut myself off before, but it's... I mean, this is a very basic NES game. You know, shoot, jump, move. Uh, but it does have a few... You know, it has some different level designs going for it, which... Which is nice. There's definitely way worse games out there that are just so... So monotonous and just the same thing over and over again. And I should not have gone this way because that brontosaurus, yep, ran right into me. Oh, jeez, I am so low on health and we have a boss fight coming up. I was hoping to not lose any lives, or at least, you know, end it too. But I, I just know that we've, uh, we're have we going to lose a life here. If I can ever just get up there. Now this boss fight could be really, really hard if you don't know what you're doing. Come on. So, uh, it doesn't matter if Lex gets crushed actually here. It doesn't affect our health at all. Uh, but really all you want to do is get into the top right corner here because the t-rex cannot get you there and here's the pattern first she's going to go to the bottom left corner and i'm just going to shoot all i can come back to the top and then she's going to go right to the bottom so i'm just going to mad rush and hopefully you should have enough time nice so this seems like a good point to uh end this lp for now as always thanks for watching and remember that if you want to pick for a chance to pick my next uh, weekend matinee feature, take on the Jaws Challenge. Thanks for watching. See you later.